Hello Year 7 and welcome to this week's Assembly with me Mr Stevens and with me Mr Hardy. The theme for Assembly this week is the importance of being kind to yourself. It's National Reading Week this week so why not try to take the time out of each day and grab a book, go somewhere quiet and spend 20 minutes reading. It helps to relax the mind and gives your eyes a break from the screen. It has also been proven that reading last thing at night aids sleep and helps you to nod off quicker. That's really important when we link back to our routines for last week. There are so many amazing books to choose from and so many different websites offering free access to thousands of titles. Not only do we have our, our uh, virtual library in school, which can be accessed via the newsletter, but also Oak National Academy have a virtual school library as well that includes audio books too. If that's something you might be interested in, this week they are focusing on their author of the week, which is Nazrana Farouk. You can read and listen to The Girl Who Stole an Elephant completely free and spend time with Tracy Beaker and Jacqueline Wilson. It's really important that you send any correspondence of what you do to your to Miss Pass on e.pass at wateracademy.co.uk. Okay, and there's also well, we, we want to find out everything that you that you've done this week. Linking back to obviously our routine of reading and why we find it really important to obviously provide as much emphasis on reading as, as we can is that it helps to increase your reading age, it helps to increase your reading speed, your level of understanding of the variety of vocabulary in text and your ability to interpret and respond to information. This will give us a better understanding of how to answer questions and answer questions to the best of our ability. As well as this, it improves your attention span and improves your concentration in the in the grand scheme of things and in the end that makes us better learners. Last week we talked about gratitude and we asked you to do lots of things. We asked you to show gratitude to your family, your carers, your loved ones for the support they give you day in day out. We know it's difficult times at the moment and we want you to be thankful to your families for the support they give you each day. We'd ask you to be thankful to your teachers the live lessons they are giving and for also the work they're sending through on teams. We ask you to show to keep good routines, go to bed at the usual time for school, wake up at the start of each day ready to log on, on time and prepared for the day ahead. Okay so now we would like to spend some time about the importance of you. Every student in year seven as long as Mr Hardy and Mr Stevens are on a journey. At the moment, not everybody is at the top of where they want to be and it's about the journey we go on. So at times it's really important to bear in mind what you want to achieve and how you're going to get there. This can take time and with that time take support. We're still here in skill and we will get you to where you need to be. So it may, might be that you're at the bottom of your road. It might be that you're halfway there. You may be there and you need a little bit of support to continue to maintain to be at that top standard. But it's one journey. Always remember where you want to get to and the journey you're on to get there. But what does that mean? What does it mean being kind to yourself? What does it mean the journey that you're on? And it's really important because during the lockdown and during remote learning, we understand that it's not ideal. And we understand that we're having to design our, our own curriculum, we're having to design our own routines, we're having to design our own timetable to try and stick to, and it's hard. But the most important thing for us is that you don't judge yourself. It's really important that you don't judge yourself because if you start to judge yourself in too, too finely, then it becomes really difficult to achieve. It's also not holding yourself to impossible high standards. It's about you achieving your personal best and that's all we ask of you. So when you're completing your work, aim to try your personal best and, and hopefully we can achieve with that. Not comparing yourself to others. Again, that's again linking to your personal best. Don't be looking at other students in the class, um, in the remote learning classrooms and seeing them doing things that maybe you might be struggling with. You compare yourself to yourself and you always try to achieve your personal best and if you achieve your personal best that's all the gain we can ask for and it's also not beating yourself up by making mistakes I've said this on a number of, a number of occasions making mistakes is fine it's okay to make mistakes 
because what that then mistakes do is they allow us to learn they allow us to learn from the things that, that we've done and as we've said in the past if you make mistakes learn from the mistake and don't repeat the same mistake over and over and over again and then finally not being good enough you are good enough everything that you're doing at this moment in time is helping you towards your journey of the end goal of leaving here in a better place than when you arrived and that means socially emotionally and mentally okay and at the end of it we want you to go on to have a wonderful career and a wonderful life in what you want to do it's not what we want you to do it's what you want to do and we want you to have aspirations far beyond what we have and what your parents have why are we important and when we think of we these two aspects i'd like to start first of all by thinking about self-esteem self-esteem is a judgment of self-worth when we feel or uh, when we fail or make a mistake we feel bad about ourselves and that's something we learn from it's okay to make a mistake when we make a mistake we learn from that we think about where it went wrong and we implement that into our life. So next time we come to that challenge, we know where we need to go. We don't beat ourselves up about it. We move on. We are strong. We have the mindset to be successful and to achieve what we want to achieve. Moving on to self, self-compassion. Treating ourselves kindly when we feel inadequate. With kindness and concern, just like we do every day. So again, if things don't go right, we take it in our stride, we reflect on where it's gone wrong, and we learn from that. We don't hold it against ourselves. We do reflect on it, we do think, and we move on to be strong. Okay, and that links to us being in our own corner. If you think about a, a, a boxing match, you have people in your corner who are, who are shouting, giving you instructions, praising you, giving you motivation. But we need to start to think about ourselves. We need to be in our own corner and we need to try and motivate ourselves and understand that we want the best for ourselves because if we don't do it for ourselves, nobody else is going to do it, especially when we are working remotely. You might not always have that teacher there encouraging you, saying, really well done, keep up the good work. But what you do as you do have, you have yourself and you need to be self-motivated, self-motivated to achieve because of that end goal that we've got set. Remember, try your personal best, aim for your aspirations, and trust me, if you're in your own corner and you are motivating yourself and thinking to yourself, yes, I can do it, and being positive, then you will achieve it. We are so proud of creating a generation of Year 7 students. A generation is our future, and you are part of our future. In our year group, we have future teachers, future doctors, future sales staff. We have a generation of employable people that are going to help make Oldham and Manchester a success. Think about your future, what you want to achieve to get there, reflect it back into your day-to-day learning, achieve your personal best, be responsible, show determination and your success will shine through. Have the aspirations of your future goal and where you want to get to. Think about your next step. So from completing your GCSEs at our school, to going on to college, to going on to university. We have some great links with Oxford University, with Cambridge University. Our students do get to those places. And in year seven, we will have students who achieve that. And that's all about having a greater good for our students and our town. And I think just to add, I think it's really important that you now start to think about that. Don't wait until you're 11 to start thinking about what am I going to do or what am I doing now and how it's going to impact it. Think about it from right this second and right this moment moving forward. What are you going to do to aspire to be the best that you can be? Okay, now we need to start to think about accepting who you are. And not comparing yourself to anybody else, just like we spoke about earlier, being you and achieving your personal best is really important. And understanding that 
accepting yourself and understanding that everybody is different and everybody has a variety of different talents, then you'll be able to move forward. It's really important that you remember that, that you solely can change you. Give yourself praise. Give yourself a pat on the back. Every day, we set you six lessons of work. At the end of each lesson, be proud of what you've achieved. You know if you've worked to the best of your ability. You know if that's been a little bit difficult, but you've shown resilience and determination and got through that lesson. Be proud of what you achieve every lesson and praise yourself. We've asked you last week to praise others. Today, think about what we're talking about and praise yourself. And then thinking about about accepting praise and and accepting um, acknowledgements from people, those students who were who were being acknowledged week in week out via our assemblies, via our subject stars, it's absolutely brilliant. But then you need to start to think about that you are enough, and what you're doing, even though it might be acknowledged by your classroom teachers, it's really important that you do take pride in your work. And that you should think to yourself, well, right, I haven't been acknowledged this week. What can I do next week to be even better? So it's about constantly improving and taking pride in everything that you do to then be even better the following week. So reflect. What did I do well last week? How can I improve? And then all you need to do then is write them things down. Right, what can I do better next week? So when it comes to your live learning, when it comes to completing your assessments, when it comes to completing your work, that you're putting into place those things that you wanted to improve on the week before and then acting upon the things that you did really, really well. Be you. You're individual. You're special because you're you. Everybody has different skills. Everybody has different strengths. And in school, that's one of the best parts of our job because we see that. We see people who are good listeners. We see people who are good communicators. We see people good at maths, others good at English. Be proud for being who you are. Do your personal best in each subject and you will shine. And then thinking about the importance of looking after yourself. In the first lockdown, in the second lockdown, one thing has, has, has always been a mainstay and it's physical activity. And the reason why physical activity has always been allowed is because it doesn't only help you physically, but it also helps you mentally. And we spoke about last week about developing a routine, having good habits in terms of having a balanced diet, conducting physical activity. But it's really important that you do get some form of physical activity in there because, yes, it does help to maintain your, your, your body image. It does help to maintain your body weight, but it also helps to improve your mindset because not only do you feel better about yourself, but you're able to clear your mind. I know myself personally, being in school, working from home, being in school, working from home, it has been really busy, but I've always found time to go out and have a run. Now, the difference this time around for me is that I haven't banged my head on any trees and cut my head open like I did in the first lockdown. But what it has enabled me to do is clear my mind, to relieve stress, to relieve any anxiety that I've got and getting a good sweat on. Now, in, physical, in, phys, in PE lessons this week and for over the last few weeks, you've been sent out um, a, a hit in high intensity interval training work out to do. Now, I know lots of you have been taking part in it and I'm really pleased that Tyler Tierney, I got to see something that he done that was really, really outstanding what he did. Okay, so really well done to you. But it's, it's something that we need to start to plan into your routine because it will make you feel better about yourself. And that's what we're here to do. It's about looking after you, not only physically, but also mentally. Also, a little shout out to Paul Ashton. No, he's been working really hard on his PE work. He's been sending us footage in and we know that he's working his best that he can be. Paul, we're proud of you, just like we are with the rest of our Year 7s. Let's all keep to our personal best. So, what can you do? So let's think about how you can be kind to yourself. If it's today, it could be something that you've done really well in terms of your classwork. If it's the weekend, it could be that you have something that you put into your routine, maybe some physical activities. How did you do? How did it feel? What can you do next week? And then obviously moving on to next week, how can we be better? That's what we need to start to think about. How can we constantly look to be better and show improvements? 
Now moving forward, we've got an art and English competition. Okay, now this art and English competition is really, really important because what it does is it brings across together two cross-curricular links, one through art and one through English. So we're calling for all budding writers and artists from hand sanitizer to toilet roll shortages to fight over pasta. 2020 has been a crazy year. As we embark on 2021, we want to hear how you are looking forward. Write a short story, a blog, or a poem describing the perfect 2020-21. Or create an illustration or book cover design. Let's hope our dreams become a reality. You need to send your poem or your short story or your blog to Miss Pass at e.pass at watertheacademy.co.uk or, or your illustration and book cover design to Miss Hall at j.hall at watertheacademy.co.uk. I will be sending out in the year seven group, I'll be sending out a template for you to fill in, whether that be for your poem, story or blog, or for your illustration book cover design. Okay, and that will all be sent to you tomorrow morning along with our assembly and with our newsletter. Okay, so we're really looking forward to seeing the, the people who are enter, or students who are entering and then the winners who are going to get prizes. Okay, so hopefully we have a really, really great effort and outstanding start with our art and English competition. So this is just an example of, the, of how to enter. Um, we've got... Again, on the left-hand side, we've got looking forward, and that's for our um, design for our book cover. And then we've got the looking forward page, and that is for um, our blog, story, or poem. Mr. Skulls came to see me this morning, and he was absolutely blown away with the amount of Year 7 students who have started the science competition. Each week, we know we've got to tune in to David Attenborough and each week there's a different theme. So this week's theme is Oceans. We're going to ask you to watch it and then complete a short quiz on the David Atten Attenborough series on Oceans. Once you've done that, you send your answers in to Mr Schools and there is a prize competition. Mr Schools has been this morning to our office with a bank of certificates. And the certificates are for previous weeks. So keep an eye if you've entered on your inbox because lots of going out to parents and you will also receive a certificate as well. Like I say, Year 7, massive, massive uptake in this competition. Mr Scholes is absolutely delighted as are the whole of the science department. Keep, it, keep going, guys, and look, look forward to this week's entries coming in. OK, to enter, you need to see on the, the newsletter and what I put into the year seven teams group. So there's a documentary link and there's also a quiz link. Once you've completed it, once you've watched it and you've completed the quiz, then obviously good luck. But from last week, we had a, we had a winner and the winner of last week's competition was. So last week's competition winner was Elizabeth in 7H2. And that was obviously really, really, really well done to you, obviously. In, in, engaging your brain to watch the documentary, taking all length that information and then completing the quiz to the best of your ability. Okay, so well done to you, Elizabeth, in 7H2. Can we have a massive round of applause to Elizabeth, please, sir? Well done to you, Elizabeth. Hopefully, your um, e certificate will be sent out by email by the end of the day. If not, it should be tomorrow. But now we're looking at some outstanding acknowledgements for our subject stars, those students who do outstanding week in, week out, and those students who are being acknowledged this week are. Okay, up first we've got our English award, and our English award goes to Harris from 7D2. And Harris is a student who constantly produces high quality work, actively requests feedback, and thrives off the extension task set. Harris, congratulations and well done. Okay, so English as an additional language. We've got Arafat in the Globe, and he's a new student who joined us remotely on the 4th of January. So he hasn't even had a chance to step foot in this building yet. But he's engaged his brain, he's finished all his classwork that's been sent home for him, and been even asked for more work. So really well done to you, Arafat. 
Okay, up next we've got our maths award. And maths goes to Eva in 7S4. Eva, congratulations for encouraging, for engaging your remote learning and trying your personal best, best in maths. Okay, well done, Eva. We've got in science, we've got Ramisha of 7H1, producing incredibly high levels of work with very detailed answers. So really well done to you and your science lessons. We've got our Modern Foreign Languages Award this week, and that goes to Cleason from 7D2 for submitting consistently good work that he has really tried with, asking questions when he needs it. Okay, in geography, we've got Hassan and 7H2, quality work produced, 100% engagement with geography learning. So again, well done to you, Hassan and 7H2. Okay, from our history department, we've got Zoya from 7H2. Zoya always goes the extra mile by asking for extra work to complete. As well as her other history online work, lots of effort and determination is always shown. Well done on asking for extra work, Zoya. Real good determination. Okay, we've got ethics we've got, and religious studies. We've got Hanny in 72 for work produced to a high standard and outstanding engagement in a remote learning. So really well done to you, Hanny. Okay, for physical education, we've got Tyler in 7D3. I do believe Mr. Stevens mentioned Tyler a little bit earlier in our assembly. And for Tyler, he actively engages in his PE on teams, recording himself performing and even getting his little sister to get involved as well. Tyler, super proud of you. Big well done, Tyler. Well done, Tyler. Okay, we've got Creative Arts and we've got Nancy in 71, showing real determination and engagement to get her work completed all to her personal best. So well done to you, Nancy. Okay, next up we've got Computer Science and we've got Zayan, who's won it this week from 7D3 for producing outstanding work during last week's remote learning task. Well done, Zayan. Well done, Zayan. We've got for music, we've got Isha in 7H3 for outstanding work and commitment during live lessons. So really well done to you, Isha. Okay, food technology, food technology, we've got Zoya from 7H2. Zoya has con constantly given her all during the past few weeks. She's showing huge determination to be successful in all tests set in food. Really well done, Zoya. Uh, this is Zoya's second award of the assembly, okay? So obviously doing something really, really well. And I think you've showed, the thing for me is you've showed resilience. And there has been a couple of setbacks this week. We understand that. But you've shown real determination and real resilience to achieve your personal best. So I'm really, really proud of what you've done, Zoya. So well done. And then we're looking to just recap. And um, if you look at, obviously at the screen, me and Mr. Hardy, with our bit emojis. Um, I did dress Mr. Hardy a little bit better, but he decided he wanted to go for a hoodie. Um, but what, what we do need to obviously look at and, and remember is that all we ask is that you try your personal best. All we want you to do is look out for yourself, because again, if you don't look out for yourself, who's going to look out for you? Think about being in your own corner. Think about being proud of, the, of yourself. Think about being proud of the work you produced, but then also learning from your mistakes and just trying your personal best. Be kind to yourself when you learn from your own mistakes. It's okay not to be okay. Try your personal best in everything you do, and if you don't succeed, we try again. We stop, we take a break, we think about it, we celebrate how far we got, and we think about what more we can do to get there. It may be that you need a phone call to Mr Hardy or Mr Stevens or from one of your teachers. It may be you need a little chat with mum and dad. That's okay. We're all here for you so that you can be the best that you can be. We're all individual. We're all different. We all have different skill levels. We will all be a success. Okay, so we just wanted to make sure you have a great day, a great week, and we'll see you next week on our, new, on, on our next assembly, and we hope to see you soon when we can welcome you all back safely. Okay, bye-bye. Have a great week, guys.